it's Friday. Here we are. <laughs> we said we'd be at Betty's, but we lied. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I haven't been home for over a month. And so you wonder why I'm wearing the same clothes. It's because I am. I try to give her a scarf to accessorize, right. but she's too butch. No. You're a butch fatale, just no. like your your heartthrob Rachel Maddow. Oh, oh, when she was on the View, and she said, she was fantastic. "I'm just a big lesbian who looks like a man." And I went, "Oh my God, I love you, Rachel." I kind of got a little wet. It was like, "Oh, oh yes, mm. she is too much." So today so, we thought we'd take the questions from the ladies. We're getting a lot of now. What did you say it was pre-orgasmic women? Well, it can be pre-orgasmic. Uh -huh. uh, or anorgasmic, or non-orgasmic, or an orgasmia. You know what I mean? You can go. You want to get off, ladies? <laughs> We're so, going to help you out. Women having trouble with orgasm. I mean, it's universal. Mm -hmm. It happens to almost all of us at, at some, different times. At some point. I just turned twenty, and I can't have an orgasm with my boyfriend or myself. I bought the Hitachi Magic Wand, and the sensation was good, but never brought me to orgasm. How can I orgasm with my clitoris being so sensitive? By playing with it a lot more than you have been. And the answer to anyone who's 20 or that young. Keep on going. No, you've got to masturbate, masturbate, masturbate. She's trying to figure out how to do it with her boyfriend. Uh, and she's t using the wand and it feels good and she probably backs off. Well, you know, she at 20, I don't really think you need a magic wand. You might want to get a... A, a lighter, it's a good idea. Battery-driven or like know. the Liberté, yeah. or you know, go to the go to our sex shop, check out the the vibrators. Get a battery vibrator yes. that's not as strong. But before you even do that, go to the website and and on the search engine and say look for first time orgasm. I spend a certain amount of time spelling it out. I describe my process in teaching women about orgasm. Which I is like 35, 40 years of research here. Darling, <laughs> I think it's very easily understood. It's nothing too elaborate. It's not difficult, no. Little yeah, steps. So step at a time. So how to breathe, rock your pelvis, open your legs. We, we all want somebody to take our hand and hold, hold the hand and take us through these step-by-step -step procedures. You can do this for yourself. This, the whole problem with this is that you weren't masturbating as a child. If we were left alone and we weren't repressed, we would be masturbating all along, like you did and I did when sure. we were kids. You rock on your teddy bear. Up against a piece of furniture. <laughs> I used to take my little legs and go like this and go back Absolutely. and forth. Or the um, faucet. I used to sit at the end of bath the tub, tub and let the faucet. And I like that because it's like water, it's clean. Yes. You know, I did that every day. I took a bath. A lot. <laughs> the, the hypersensitive clitoris is yes. one that has not been touched sufficiently. So that could be a huge problem because it's hypersensitive because you haven't touched it. So then you don't touch it even more. And then if a guy touches it or a woman ah! touches it, you go, oh, and you yeah. freak the fuck out. I know. So it's like that huge cyclical kind of problem. Oh, and to say nothing of the fact that I've got a book that's been in the marketplace 100 years called <laughs> Sex for One, sold over a million copies. Why don't you pick up the book? Women, please educate yourself. Don't. You know, don't expect someone to tell you what They're to do. They're not going to tell you in school, Ugh. and your mom's not going to tell you, and your girlfriends no. aren't going to tell you, because they don't know either. Well, some girlfriends might. I learned something from I learned something, but my girlfriends were all hoe bags. <laughs> so, Lynn, I love you. <laughs> Thank so you. So she grew up in another time. In my time, we were all virgins, supposedly. No. <laughs> I'm a 30-year-old woman who has never had much of a sex drive. In my early 20s, I started fantasizing and masturbating more, but after a few years, it seemed to fade again. I was sure that having a real, loving, attractive partner to play with would make a big difference, but it hasn't. It feels good, but I'm nowhere near an orgasm, and I, am I hopeless? You absolutely are hopeless as long as you expect a man to do this for mm -hmm. you, darling. Very passive aggressive. We are responsible for our own orgasms. We have to learn what our bodies like and, what, and how to handle them and how to treat them, and then we can tell our partners what we like. And men so would love that. Yes. I've never had a guy, when I said, oh, not really, this is what I really like, go, oh, you horrible slut. Exactly. <laughs> you know I mean? He Thank went, you. oh, fantastic. Yes, Take the I pressure know. off. I always initiate a dialogue about what do you like. What's yeah, well, on, no. You know? No, exactly. But, but once again, having worked with so many women for so many years, you're quite unusual, young lady. Okay. You can't just... Figure that when you do, that many other women do. No, I know they don't, but I'm just sharing my experience. Okay, okay. As so learning. She was, she was a baby slut from day one. 
It took and me. And you were a grandma slut. Well, now, but it took me forever. It took me. I just, anyone who's struggling with orgasm, trust me, I know what you're going through because I went through it. And I was always trying to find the right boyfriend, the right partner, the right size mm -hmm. dick. Prince the right, Charming. Think uh, of all the fairy tales that were force fed. You know, you're going to meet this person and they're going to take it all. I was trying to you. come from orgasm. I was trying to come from intercourse only. Forget it. Get your clit in there, girls. Get your clit going. I'm a 30-year-old female who's been in a long-term relationship with a man two years my senior. Recently, I smoked a bit of pot and noticed a significant increase in my libido. I've smoked quite a few times since, and every time I smoke, it has the same effect. I get high, come down a bit, and feel extremely horny. Is this normal? I love this question. Yeah. <laughs> I'd <laughs> say it's normal or average or... See, here's people... Pot is the original and only aphrodisiac that I know of. Absolutely, and that's why I smoke it, the magic herb. If I have a little bit of anything, pot, a glass of wine, I'm ready to roll. <laughs> well, here's the other thing. This is definitely one of the reasons why they keep this an illegal substance, yes. because it would solve a lot of our healing or health problems. It's like at my mm -hmm. age, uh, for me, it's medication. <laughs> <laughs> well, I took the magic herb from, we're loading all of Betty's art into the site. So oh, that's yeah. going to be up in the next few weeks because we have to organize them and put them Oof. into categories. And she has this one great piece. It's called the magic herb. I love uh, that yeah, one. You can tell in my art when, when I discovered, <laughs> when I discovered it, it, I, it, it became more free flowing and more, I think creative. So much, it, more much more creative. The one with the woman and she's masturbating and then all these words are around her. I love that one. That's going to be a, a, a poster, you know. Well, what we're going to do is you can buy prints of them eventually. We're going to hook yeah. that all up. The thing that, that made me feel good today is one of the guys at Carpathia is... Our hosting company. Yes, is requesting my entire memoir. And I'm thinking, oh, see, it's it's all about timing. It, timing. It's like I wanted to publish this in the 80s. No one would touch mm -hmm. it. No. Now we'll self-publish it on the site. We're going to release it as serials. <coughs> so we have a lot of uh, new content coming, plus some original video that we're going to start shooting. Mm, yes, oh, that's ex I can't wait to get into that. It's exciting. I know. And so hopefully by next week. I'll next be... week we will officially be at Betty's house. <laughs> and I will have another outfit. Yay! <laughs>